In Act One, Grandpa reads some bad news. The editorial in this paper that has my friend Matt Baker real upset. A little later, Grandpa's friend comes to visit. I'd like you to meet my friend Matt Baker. Matt is very upset about something. It's a serious matter for the lot of us. A serious matter. Why is Matt so upset? Something the matter, Grandpa? Uh, the editorial in this paper that has my friend Matt Baker uh, real upset. Ah, I'll read it to you. The old library building on Chestnut Street, which has been vacant for over a year now, was supposed to be made into a community center to serve the senior citizens as well as the younger people of Riverdale. Due to lack of funds for the repainting of the interior of the building and for the furniture needed, the plans for the community center have been postponed indefinitely. <laughs> He's coming over to talk about it. Is it that serious a problem, Grandpa? It is. He, Nat's not as lucky as I am, Robbie. He doesn't have any uh, family with him. Uh, he lives alone and depends on places like a community center to be with people, people his own age. But there's the old community center on Elm Street. It's small. And the problem is it's uh, set up primarily for kids to play. Uh, ping pong tables, uh, soda machines, and lots of music. It's too noisy for some older people like Nat. I never realized that. Uh, it's hard for some older people to take all that noise. That's why the new community center is a good idea. Part of the building for older people, part of the building for younger people. I see what you mean. Well, that must be Nat. It could be Alexandra. She's coming over this morning to help me with my math. Oh. Hi, Robbie. Hi, Alexander. Come on in. Do you want something cold to drink? I'd love some cola, please. Cola, coming up. I really appreciate you coming over to help me with my math. My final exam is next Tuesday. You're so good in all your other subjects. I just can't understand why you have so many problems with math. Hi, Alexandra. Hi, Mr. Stewart. I thought that was Matt Baker who rang the front doorbell. Now, don't let me interrupt you. No problem, Grandpa. We're just having some cola before getting to the tough stuff. Math. <laughs> You'll do anything to avoid getting down to math lessons, Mr. Stewart. <laughs> I was the same way. Really, Grandpa? Really. I didn't like math. I wasn't good at it, and I didn't like studying it. But you had to be good at math. You graduated from engineering school. <laughs> I was, but not in high school. For some reason, I couldn't get a handle on it. Then in college, I became good at it. Then there's hope for Robbie. <laughs> I can't wait. Do you think I can just skip it now and get to it at college? <laughs> You'll never get to college to find out, Robbie, if you skip it now. <laughs> Well, that must be Matt. Sit down, Robbie. Let's get to work. I'd like you to meet my friend Matt Baker. This is Alexandra Pappas, and this is my grandson, Robbie, whom I think you've met once or twice before. Nice to meet you, Mr. Baker. Hi, Mr. Baker. We met before. Where? In town. At the hardware store. I remember now. Right. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Alexandra. 
But don't let us keep you from your math tutoring, Robbie. I know you want to get to it. Stay, stay. I told you, he'll use any excuse to avoid math. Did you read the story in the paper, Malcolm? I did. It's a serious matter for a lot of us. A serious matter. Mm. It is. Come on out to the patio. We'll talk about it out there. Thanks. Nice to meet you again. What's the problem? Come on, you'll hear about it. You can read it in the paper. You can read what people say. You can find it in the paper. Most papers in the USA. Sometimes you can find good news. Sometimes the news is bad. Sometimes the news makes you happy. Sometimes it only makes you mad. But if you want to be informed, take my recommendation. Go to a newsstand and pick up a paper if you want information. If you want to read the news, look in the paper. If you want an opinion, look in the paper. If you want to buy a house, look in the paper. If you're looking for a job, look in the paper. If you want to buy a car. Look in the paper. If you want to see a show, look in the paper. You can read it in the paper. You can read what people say. You can find it in the paper. Most papers in the USA. If you want to know the score, look in the paper. If you want the weather forecast, look in the paper. If you want to see the comics, look in the paper. If you have money to invest, look in the paper. If you want a recipe, look in the paper. If you need a vacation, look in the paper. paper, 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 paper. You can read it in the paper. You can read what people say. You can find it in the paper, most papers in the USA. You can read it in the paper. You can read what people say. You can find it in the paper, most papers in the USA.